This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matt Pearson and Mark Bauer. I'm at the Cosmopolitan Hotel today, head of the big top rank card, uh, featuring Irish Irish interest Andy Lee against Matt Ben Korobov for the WBO vacant middleweight title. With me, I've got boxing news editor Tris Dixon. What's happening, Tris? Uh, enjoyed the press conference. Enjoyed that one more than the one that we've just come from. That I just came from at the MGM. I was at both press conferences. I think that's the first where you've done it. Well, I've done two com press conferences in the space of two hours. Interesting. Compare the differences in press conferences because I, um, I only got to witness this one so far. Talk to me a little bit. A lot of people thanking God now, Heyman, uh, over the over the street at the MGM. I'm not sure if they're the same person or not. Um, over here, there's a bit more colour. I think it was. Um, you know, the guys had a lot to say for themselves. The Jose Ramirez story is quite interesting. Bringing water back to California during the drought. Uh, Timothy Bradley looked up for it. Chavez looked up for it. And Andy Lee Korobov, I think, is a really, really good fight. Um, I was ringside for Andy Lee against Jackson in the summer in Madison Square Garden, where he turned things around with that one, uh, with that one punch knockout. Mm -hmm. Quite possibly the best fight I've seen this year. Um, he was dropped heavily in the first round and, and had to come back and, and win um, and look impressive if he was going to get a fight like this. Uh, he's now got what he wanted. Um, Korobov, very tough opponent, hasn't really done what we'd expected him to when he turned pro, but that doesn't mean he still can't do it. Um, I think they're looking to um, let him off the leash, certainly um, next year, providing he comes through Andy. And this is having spoken to uh, his manager, Cameron Duncan, um, yesterday. They're looking to match him sort of two or three times next year and maybe get him ready for Golovkin. I mean, what what has Andy Lee got to do to win this fight? How do you how do you kind of subdue a man like like uh, Mate Korobov? Well, Korobov is a fast starter, so you don't do anything stupid early on. Uh, you you get a footing into the fight. Uh, obviously, he was dropped early by Jackson last time, so hopefully you can learn from that and uh, and not get caught cold um, and just stay out of trouble early. Korobov has tired late in fights. Um, he's, he's had breathing issues over the years as well uh, that they think is re resolved now. But obviously, if you get him into the into the into the deeper waters, you've got a good chance of finding out, um, you know, if, if those breathing problems are being rectified and if, if he can fight hard for a second half of the fight. Because obviously, Korobov was a great amateur, but that's over three, four, five rounds early, you know, early days. Um, you know, whereas obviously a 12-round championship fight. And he's got more experience. He's been in with guys like Chavez, had hard fights with people like Brian Vera. Um, so he's got a lot more experience as a professional, and he needs to use that to get through those early rounds and try to take Korobov late. I mean, the winner of this fight faces mandatory challenger Billy Joe Saunders. So again, it adds a great British interest into this fight, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. I was speaking to um, Andy a couple of days ago about that fight, and um, he, he said he wanted to win the title here and defend it in uh, in Ireland. And, and we know how big the, the fight scene is in, in Ireland, and how how they sort of show out in their masses for for live crowds. We've seen just recently with Matthew Macklin what, what an atmosphere he provided in Dublin. So you know you can imagine Andy Lee against Billy Joe Saunders would go down brilliantly in Limerick or Dublin. Let's talk a little bit about Amir King Khan. He's, he's in action against Devin, Devin Alexander at the MGM Grand. How do you rate Amir's chances coming into this, Chris? I quite like his chances. Um, it's probably, for me, it's a 70-30 fight in his favour. And, and I think part of the reason for, the, for it so strongly in his favour um, is because I'm not sure that Alexander is, has the same hunger or ambition that he used to. Um, you know, when he was fighting guys, basically up until the Bradley fight, he showed a lot of ambition. Obviously, he came and beat Junior Witter in the UK. Um, you know, to do that sort of stuff and to beat people like Juan Arango in style, um, you know, that, that's, that was really impressive form. And against Maidana, he, he sort of won all 10 rounds, but he had a controversial win against Matisse. Hard fights. Um, I wonder if he hasn't had too many tough fights at a high level, and now he's, he's lost a bit of ambition and a, lot of bit of, and a bit of hunger. With that said, do you think Khan may regret the chance of not facing him a year earlier when, when there would have been a title on line? Um, there's a couple of ways to look at that. It's, it's obviously, I think if Khan had, had fought that fight, then there, there might have been a better chance of him fighting Mayweather. It would have strengthened his case. Um, instead, he lost that fight and then lost the Mayweather fight, which you know was a, a disastrous spell, really. Um, in terms of in terms of being the right time, I kind of believe what Amir says uh, in the sense that it's allowed him to build more into the welterweight division. He had that good fight with Colazzo, which, although Colazzo is maybe not the fighter he was, he'd come off a good win over Victor Ortiz, um, and, and Amir dominated him in a way that no one has before, and he looks strong at the weight. Um, I think he's, he's, he's happy and confident with, 
Tony Brady and, the, and Virgil Hunter and the results he's got with them. Um, and I think if nothing else, that's given him a lot of confidence going into this fight. Well, hopefully it's a cracking weekend of boxing, in particular for the UK fans. Um, let's hope the guys do the business. Thank you as always for giving me a bit of time today, mate. I All really right, thanks, James. It. And I'll catch you again real soon. Thanks, mate. Thank you.